Hi, my name's Sophia. Welcome to this community. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. So what I was picking up was, uh, well, quite a calmness. So I feel that whatever drama, say you've separated or frustration or whatever, there's been like, you know, tower moments and etc. events happening in your life. That there's a kind of calm, um, a calmness now. You're just getting on with things, moving forward, that kind of energy with you, with your person. I might feel a bit different, but we'll see. Let's, let's see. Let's get into the cards here. Let's see what's happening. Okay. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune. It's both your person here. The first two cards. Nope. Oh, so there's a calmness with you, but your person, it's, it's like what I'm picking up is they're knowing there's an anxiety of losing you, but awakening up to knowing it's you kind of thing. Anyways, let's see what's, that, what's going on. What's that about? So... Wheel of Fortune, King of Pentacles, Virtue, which is Three of Wands, and I jump into these these ones underneath. The Wheel of Fortune is the planets, like I've been saying for months. This these months is about the rise of the. It's the Aquarius age, not known as the you know Gaia, Golden Age, etc. This is about following your truths. The planets is here to make you follow your truths. Enlightened beings, etc., etc., are supposed to be on their purpose, into their mission. Hence my mission program. Please check out the website. You want to know more about that. And, and that's why the separation of the two worlds, because it's splitting the energies for the, 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 you know, the wise will rise. And the wise people who are the ones of the hard workers that are going to push forward and, and grab, you know, grab, grab the horn, the bull by the horns, that kind of thing. So that's you. And it's reflecting with your person with the uh, the vine timing. Um, yeah. <laughs> divine uh, guidance twin flame whatever you know that kind of thing king of pentacles though is that's different mm. oh okay that's uh getting it differently so it's like you over here i know you can't really see and all that kind of thing but what what i get is that you've released your person of okay my code obviously not upstairs divine code of their pussy ways their their soft ways their gentle ways now your person ain't pussy if you do a reading with me you know i will say listen they're way amazing without them they wouldn't you wouldn't i wouldn't even have this community if i didn't meet my person right that that's factual I wouldn't have got nowhere where I was without meeting him. It's not due to him. You know, he doesn't necessarily influence me to push me forward. But I, you know, I know that divine connection, rah rahs, is why I'm here. This is connected with you releasing that outcome of waiting for your person, waiting for them to text, waiting for them as, you know, all that kind of 3D stuff. Um, but focusing more on the divineness of it like i don't focus on my person i don't even know if i'm getting with my person although he's divine and we're supposed to be in a contract i just know that when i met him i started this channel and then i started this community then i started the galactic you know that's how you should be i focus on that aspect of it and that's why i think you're releasing that element of Oh, when's my person coming? When's when when they're going to take the relationship aspect of it is what I'm feeling here. So that this is a bit different. 
yeah, you're letting that go. That's how I'm feeling. It's like, oh, I just, you know, because of they're not stepping up to that plate. So you're like, oh, I'm just leaving it to the divine. Something like that. So it's not like fucking them off, but it's not like um, chasing them neither. That's how I feel because you're like, oh, they're just, you know, stuck over there doing their thing, focusing on money. You know, same old, same old divine twin flame, whatever story. You're just like, oh, you just, you know, I'm getting on with me. That's what I feel, um, which is making influence because this is all inner energy and all that kind of thing. So this is influencing your person to make changes. You don't need to talk. This is in a relationship. That's all elite secret society to relate. You energetically influence your person from what you do. This is got this is the wheel of fortune, which is tarot, which is Taruf, the goddess of truth, which is your intuition. Your intuition knows what your truth is. Your truth is a light worker, star seed, twin flame, whatever label, right? Is that you are here to make people free to be a humanitarian, to change this planet, because you feel different, you have a gift, you are alien, that's why we're called, you know, we are alien, literally, star seeds, seeds from the stars, so this is about you homing in on your gifts, and just following that path, yes, you're connected with someone, but you're like, yeah, they're just doing their thing over there, I'm moving on, right, I, I'm kind of feeling that, yeah, look, eight of cups underneath this. You see it's in the clouds. There's a tarot. You're rising up and being in your truth. That means, like, not focusing on your person. Eight of cups is walking away. You're walking away from it, which is walking towards you being your true, authentic self. As with laws of the planet, not bullshit man-made laws like council tax. Come on now. With laws of the planet, uh, principle law of correspondence as above, so below. Your star seed, you should know these laws, not buy them on my website or someone on the subscription list. But as within, so without, this is about energetically aligning yourself to what you really are. And then you are here as a humanitarian, as a, and you have all kind of humanitarians have someone they're supposed to be with. And that will come to you. You do you. You align with you. Loving yourself. And you attract love. That's it. It's, the laws of this planet is pretty basic. And simple. But humanity is being programmed by television. To follow man-made bullshit laws. It's not to follow man-made bullshit laws. It's to follow natural law. Natural law is simple. But most don't know it. They only know the two. Gravity and law of attraction. Uh, there's more than two. <laughs> Underneath this is, yeah, this, you know, this is, it's not working. Failure, or I call my car failure. Underneath this knight of pentacles is, you know, he's not, she's not investing. So you're letting that go. You're like, if that's like literally letting your person go, it's kind of like, I see it as a package. Your person's not moving forward. They're not moving in. They're not emotionally opening up. They're not They're not doing what they want to do. So you're releasing that, right? That person, that everything of that. That's what I feel. And like I said, you're just getting on doing your own thing. Because uh, of seven of pentacles, they're not investing in it. It doesn't, it doesn't mean not, um, that's just the now. This is, the the Wheel of Fortune is um, karma and divine timing. So that just means for now. So it, the, the Wheel of Fortune is next to your person. So they're working on his bum. They're working on his ass. So don't worry about that. You do you, as they say, right? Underneath this is, yeah, underneath you, Nine of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles means that, Oh, why is that? They want me to look at that. This is, uh, yeah, it's a nightmare because your person's not investing, right? But there's, there's other people's influence here. Maybe some of you have released 
your person because other people have told you to. That's what I'm getting with this. As well. Other people have told you not to invest in it because... Okay, if they told you not to invest, but you're investing in you and loving yourself and getting on with mission and what you're here for, meh, <laughs> can't really complain about that. But if you they you release this person and you're hating on them because these people are in your head saying he's not your twin flame or he's with someone else or whatever, and you start hating on your person, different stories. So this nine of swords is a bit in and out for me it depends it if it leads into because there's only two polarities on this planet negative and positive so um our jobs is to know natural law right of the planet so when we have a negative like people in your ear your person's over there they never come towards you they don't emotionally invest they don't you know text you that whatever right you you look at that situation and you try and smooth it and then maybe it's like, okay, they're right. I need to release this person. But the positive is then, okay, now I've released that person. Then I'll get into what I'm supposed to do. Tarot. It's got tarot here. Maybe you're supposed to do tarot. You join my mission program. I teach you tarot. I teach you image readings, which I'm going to start doing soon again when I finish, uh, you know, making the business more stable, more professional, let's just say. Not stable, is very stable, thank you very much. I have all my programs and everything ready, just getting it all into, you know, nicely, nicely. So look, a lot underneath. So what's going on? Yeah, Twin Flame, Divine, this is like, you know, Six of Cups, come on now. This is past life. This is what you were here to do. Your Starseed Light Worker, whatever, Six of Cups. This is what you're supposed to do. Come out of that cave, which you moulded. You see these cards? I told us to make it like putty. So it's like you moulded this cave of a comfort zone which you're staying in. This fool's journey, fool's journey is the story of your life, is to jump out, rise up like the Aquarius age and go in, get into your masculine and make your own reality. You make your own reality. You can make, if you join my mission programme, yeah, I don't care if I sound like I'm selling it, that's you, go listen to someone else. You join my mission programme, you are your own business. It depends who you work with. This is very important. I made this saying that, yeah, look, my programs are shit hot and there's a 100% money back guarantee, right? But you're the business owner. I don't control you. I give you advice. You want to be successful post 12 a day. We're fucking lucky knowing tarot that we have the opportunity to post 12 a day there's people for example spiritual talkers right what can they obviously talk about for 12 videos a day so it would take them years to be successful we like i said transmute the negative into the positive poor people focus on the negative rich people focus on the positive i'm like i'm so lucky that i could post 12 videos a day because just a general speaker talking about hair and makeup cannot post 12 videos a day so i will be 12 times likely to be more faster successful than anyone else this is what you lot don't understand that's what i will give you i will give you tips and tricks and common sense and wisdom with age and experience entrepreneurship how to be successful it's up to you but this is about taking like i said taking the bull by the horns and going for your wishes and desires but you have to be in your masculine to do it like i said there's this you know when i said you know your person's a pussy well yeah that's my terminology what do you want a coward i don't know but you need to step up as well you ain't just a biz. You you know you don't just create a business. You got people. Anyone can start a business. You can easily YouTube now how to start a YouTube channel. Boom! You've created a business. Anyone can start a business, my friend. Businesses fail because they can't keep them maintained, sustainable, and growing. Right? 
Then they don't trust staff, and you can see why, because you see how people stab you in the back. So I understand why people don't trust staff, but then, you know, that's that once again, law of transmutation of energy, transmuted. This is a past life connection with the Six of Cups to teach you everything that I'm saying here. In all my readings, what you're here to do. You have a past life connection of telling people how to be happy and live their life in bliss, right? Three of Cups is you, me, myself and I. Your person, me, myself and I, and you both love yourself going on your wishes and desires, then you attract your person and that's how come you're happy for life. What 3D vision tells you to do is to focus on your other half. Well, then you only get half of that person. I want someone who's putting in 100% and I'll put in 100%. I put in 100% in all my readings. I put in 100% now in my website, 100% in. I create my programs when I create. My, cro my program, everything I cr create is 100% money back guarantee. What I'm fixing up is, for example, like, you know, I'm not dressed nicely. Or, you know, I, I, I edit out swearing so you can give it to your kids. Stuff like that. Nothing is not 100% money back guarantee to the point. It's not cheap or quick what I create. Everything I teach you is for your bliss. So you can have eternal bliss with your person. But this is connected with energy, the sun, the planets, knowing the planets. The, uh, what I said about balance, didn't I? I can't remember what I was saying. But this is about balance, creating balance in your life. You releasing your person and nightmare situations, which others are telling you about, I feel. I don't know what's with these others, but this is a collective. I can't really get into this other people's thing here, right? But releases the balance so that you can focus on you because you're focusing too much on your person, which creates a balance so your person comes towards you. To you know, change. Change is needed. Change is coming. Once again, the yin and the yang, balancing out the hot, the cold, as we've been. So there's only two polarities. Focus on you, Six of Cups, and then you get someone who is you, because you are one with that person. Twin Flame, Star Seeds, whatever. Ten of Swords, ending this, uh, look, nine to the ten. That's all you have to do. I keep saying it. You don't need to worry about your person. You focus on you. Laws of the planet will bring your person to you. People say, right, a list, right, a this and that. Yeah, for business plan, yes. For your person, I say to them upstairs, you know, source, God, jar, whatever you want to call it. I call them a lot, them lot upstairs, right? Because there's so many of them. You know, God is one. There's many of them. Even pets that die can help you. Come on now, right? Them lot, right? They they know what I say, you lot, give me what's best for me. Because they know. They know what's best for me. If I pinpoint I want someone who's six foot tall with blue eyes, that might not be for best for me. So this is me, just like, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on me, because I know me. I know what I want. And I know I am supposed to be doing this. This is mission. This is my purpose. This is what I'm supposed to do. I didn't plan to do this. If you know my story, I just like, uh, just I thought it was my sister who was supposed to do it. I never picked up cards in my life. The first time I started this channel, I just chucked cards. I didn't even know I was doing these cards. I don't even know what these playing cards. My sister said, you can't use them. No one uses these cards, you know, these ones, for tarot. I was like, well, those are the only ones in the shop. I couldn't see these in the shop. And I was using them perfectly fine. I got booked first day. You know my story, and here we go. I just followed my intuition. You follow that, and then I say, I don't put particular names of who comes to me. Give me who's supposed to come to me. You lot, who's best for me, right? And you divinely, it's generally your twin flame. It's generally whoever you're connected to, you know, not, no, unless you're soulmate. It's generally if your twin flame is your twin flame, right? But you have to do the work, you have to be full. That's the quickest route to union to you getting mission first. 
get into a mission, doing what you want to do, and then you attract the person. Ten of Swords is ending all that, stabbing in the back, blah, 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 once you get fully in mission. Sun, this is, look, wake up. This is a judgment to the sun, enlightenment. Waking you up to who you are, your star seat. This is kind of connected with yesterday's reading, wasn't it? Waking you up to why you're here. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, mission. That's what the planets are doing. It's like you, look, they're waking up your person. What the planets are doing, this is the Aquarius age. Aquarius is rise of the masculine. It means the masculines are going to start rising up into their emotional state and stop focusing on, I've just got to get a job and pay the bills. See, you think, oh, rising up with the masculine, the masculines will be going out working and grafting. No. For a true man to emit their emotions and to declare love and all that is a true man. Right? That's why you have a person who is emotionally unavailable. Because that is what most don't understand when it comes to this planet. And men just think they've got, just got work, 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 work. Physical. That's why they like sex. It's a physical act. This planet is changing that dynamic of masculine and feminine and making it whole within you. Not for you to look for your masculine. And not for the men to look for their feminine. So within a man, they're making the masculines go into their emotional state, which makes them more of a man. Because they focus more on the physical aspect of physical working, hence the king of pentacles, and physical sex. Hence your person is heightened sexually with you. You have to physically get into mission and stand up, stop being a pussy, stop being a coward, stop being, I can't do it, stop listening to other people. And that's why I created the mission program so that you have a support network of people like you, like-minded people who just start on that journey of doing what they're supposed to do. Instead of singly going over there selling crystals, singly over there doing Reiki, which Reiki, crystals acupuncture tarot readings don't do jack shit they do not transmute any negative energy they don't image readings don't even do that i can tell you what to work on for my image reading my program helps you to do it i can't do it you have to do it a crystal picking it up anything that's physical right don't do shit and an energy reader who says they can heal you don't even know quantum physics or energy is a bullshitter. That's the title. I would gladly say it to anyone about healer. There is no thing as a healer. You already have the healing within you, right? You cut yourself, doesn't it heal? Come on now. All disease is dis-ease. Do you hear that? Dis, like a pain or something. No ease. When you're at ease, which abundance, money, hence I'm an entrepreneur with my money program, money gives you ease, right? And that ease stops you having all those diseases. Most poor people die from cancer. Dis-ease, right? But there's self-healing within every humanity. When you cut human, you cut yourself. Anyway, I'm going off track. You know, I know my shit. You don't need to know as much as me. I give you the basics in the program for you to transmute the negativity. Then you can sell those programs and help others. That's the snowball effect of mission, right? That's why we're here, to help each other. My mission program helps each other. So check it out. If you're new, check out the programs. Check out the description box, blah, blah, blah. This is about, like I said, you focusing on you and knowing natural law. Like attracts like, you 100% loving you, getting in mission. And you might say, I love crystals. You might love crystals, but there's stuff you have to do that you don't like. I must make that important. Fact. I had a Casey who loved crystals. I'm like, I kept telling her, you like crystals, but there's no point you making these brilliant crystals if no fucker knows about you. Right? You need to learn advertising and marketing. You must post. You must. There's things you must do that you don't necessarily want to do. It's, it's called life. Thank you very much. 
And it's vanity to think just because she could make something as, as gorgeous as she could as the crystals, that that was good enough. That's vanity. I'm fucking gangster at, at my image reading. I'll, 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 I'll big that up, large that up all day long. And my programs are so shit hot, I give 100% money back guarantee. But it's vanity for me to keep it all for myself. To say, listen, you lot ain't as good as me, so you can't have it. Who am I to say that? I am fucking uh, no better than you. That is just my gift. That is just my value. You have your own value, right? Casey, who done the crystals, her, her value was the crystals. But she needed me to help her to push her to advertise so that everyone could have that with my programs. This is what you lot must understand. You must not confuse just your gift alone. You must get out there and target the many. We are all one anyway. For you to separate yourself, that means you're going against oneself anyway. Because we're one, especially as a humanitarian and spiritual leader, to go separate themselves is a contradiction on what they are fucking preaching. We are supposed to be united. I'm out. Speak to you later.